Hey, this is Mutsa Badri and today's video I want to dedicate to all couples, married couples who are engaged, who are wanting to get engaged, who are thinking of getting married, that abuse in any form is not love. A lot of people get confused when they are in love with a person or you know, wants to get married, they think that a mild form of abuse is okay, that's normal and they don't take it seriously which leads to extreme abuse, breakup, divorce and a lot of trauma for both parties and even kids if you do have kids by that time. So please watch this video if you want to understand whether what is abuse, what is tolerable and what are the different steps that you can immediately take to save your marriage to save yourself from abuse or maybe get out at an extreme case. So first let's understand the forms of abuse. First form and which is very you know common is physical abuse. Physical abuse we know that you know if somebody hits us and if it's beating and if it's blood and bruise then people think oh the person hit me or there was beating and physical abuse. But what I'm talking about is any form of hitting. It could be a you know a, 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 a slap, a mild slap, a hit on the shoulder, something which is not normal and the person is abusing you because of irritation, because of anger, because you're not understanding or there is you know disconnection or disagreement between both of you, there is physical abuse. So any form of hitting mild is also abuse. You know you might even I hear a lot of time people even pinch or you know sometimes it's, it's no the person hit me but he loves me or she loves me but the hitting was hard the the spouse pushed you physically grabbed you or maybe sexually physically assaulted you so any form of mild abuse is also abuse and the the topic that i want to address here is any form of abuse does not lead to love a lot of times couples or you know engaged couples or people who are in love think that mild abuse is showing love. No, it is not showing love. There is a problem you need to address, address it immediately. The next form of abuse is verbal. Right? I see this with a lot of married couples where if they are not physically abusing each other, but there is extreme verbal abuse. There could be name callings, there could be you know, bringing the other person down. They could be, you know, uh, saying nasty things or stupid or idiot. You're good for nothing. You know, why did I marry you? I made a mistake. I don't want to stay in this marriage. These are also forms of verbal abuse. Abusing your parents, abusing your education, abusing your ability to do something, abusing your capacity, your capability or skill. It might not be done very loudly. It might, there might not be yelling but it might be very mildly done, it might be told to you, but that's also abuse. It might be told to you very nicely, but that's also verbal abuse. You cannot allow anyone to tell you anything and any nonsense and pull you down just because you are disagreement, because you're not being nice to the person or because you're not doing what the other person wants. Nobody has right in love to abuse the person and say what you want to say. So make sure that you know, any form of verbal, if your spouse is always at you, you know, there's disrespect. There is so much of nonsense that I see that couples are engaging with each other and they are saying so many nasty things. And even after saying that, people are still in marriage thinking that, oh no, we are in love, but he loves me, but she loves me. And it's okay if he or she said, I'm stupid and good for nothing. I am sure he or she did not mean it. That's nonsense, right? If you continue accepting this crap from your love or from your partner or anybody who loves you, this is abuse. This is not love. If a person loves you, the person will not abuse you, will not pull you down, will respect you for who you are or are not. If there is some issue, if there is disagreement, there is no need for abuse. There is no need to hit or physical or verbal abuse at all. So there are two, first is physical, the next is verbal. The third is emotional abuse, right? What do I mean emotional abuse? Emotional abuse is where you, the, the person does not care whether you're crying or whether you're upset or whether you get angry. The person 
will continuously emotionally pull you down that is also abuse extreme form of crying extreme form of anger as extreme form of not respecting you or making you feel you're not good enough not making you feel you're unworthy you're not loved you're not accepted here you are not welcomed here in this house is emotional trauma i mean i don't understand lot of times people think no no physical abuse is only abuse emotional trauma and torture is not abuse it is abuse and that is not love that is not love and that is not okay and if you are in any form of these abuse you need to kind of wake up to it and start confronting start not allowing these abuse and the last one is financial abuse financial abuse is you know the most subtle where there is constant either one spouse is working or is forced to work or there's only money which is you know involved the spouse is only interested in money is getting money from the you know partner and the only relationship is based on finance i see a lot of times either the wife or the man the husband is earning money and the other partner is just you know enjoying and is only there till the point the money is coming and then it's out or some i have seen husbands who are forcing wives to work or wives are working thinking that i am contributing in the family goes works hard works and gives all the money to the husband and the wife doesn't even know where the money is going or what's happening it's financial abuse financial abuse you have to understand that if you if you detect that your lover partner husband sp- wife is only in the relationship because of finance and the moment you remove finance the equation the person kind of is becomes different he is a different person when there is money is not involved or money is not given or any form of financial conversation and abuse happens so is also financial abuse so there are four abuses first is physical next is verbal third is emotional and fourth is financial now what do you do when you find these form of abuses do not accept it the first point that i want to tell you is confront the moment you get physically hit or pushed or stopped you need to confront the person and say this is not okay i will not tolerate any form of physical abuse which is you know you can understand when the touch is you know out of love or out of you know uh, fun or we just fooling around or it is really a form of abuse you know he or she lost it and hit you that is physical abuse the moment you detect this and if some of you who are watching you've already gone through the extreme and you're like oh my god this is happening since the last 10 min- uh, 10 years 15, 15 years 20 years all my life this is happening then you need to immediately confront your partner your wife and say this is not okay this has to stop immediately now i understand if your relationship is abusive and you're used to or your partner is used to yelling screaming abusing hitting emotionally pulling you down financially sucking you then what do you do you have to take help you have to let your partner know or if you're the one who's doing it you have to acknowledge it that yes i am doing it to my partner and you need to go take professional help take therapy meet a counselor read a book take a course attend a seminar do whatever you need to do to stop your physical abuse if there is to stop any form of abuse and if there is some un unfulfilled uh, or uncleared matters in your in your relationship like you need you need to confront you need to talk then sit and talk talk it out whatever is there put it on the table and ask your partner what's wrong why are you doing this you know maybe there's an unresolved issue maybe there's a childhood abuse maybe something which both of you can sit down and resolve and help each other to not get into any form of abuse and if your partner is you know needing help or if you are needing help then make sure that you help your partner or both of you go to therapy counseling and make sure this abuse stops immediately now at the end the third point is what if you do confront and what if you do offer help or you take help and the other person is not willing to budge is in denial she is in denial oh i am this is all normal highly highly possible that your partner who is abusing you is pointing the finger at you that you are the reason i'm abusing you are the reason i'm getting upset you ticked me off you said something please don't buy this don't buy the story that oh i love you and i will not do it again and please forgive me don't buy the story make sure that you either take help and last resort if it's not stopping there are a lot of promises i will not do it 
I will improve, but it goes on again and again. Get out of the relationship. Get out of the relationship. You know, just say that's it. We're done. It is not going to work out. And if you're probably, you know, about to get married, make sure you don't. If you're already married, then do what needs to be done. And if you're already way ahead and you're all, you have kids, then make sure that whatever you need to do is important for your kids' well-being also. Because an abusive family, an abusive relationship, if the couple is abusive, it impacts the children. It impacts your child. The children are watching. They are probably thinking, you know, if this is marriage, marriage, why would I even want to get married? Or probably they are going to be someone who is an who's a result of your abuse to their own you know, spouse. They might either stop or they might take abuse or they might be fully aware and be controlling so that the spouse does not abuse. So it leads to all sorts of trauma for the children. So make sure that you confront and make sure it's not okay. If it's happening, stop it immediately. Tell the person it's not okay. Take help if you re require and most likely the help or counseling or programs or something will, will help you resolve it and it will not happen again. And if last but not least, get out of the relationship. It's not worth because I promise you if this abuse is not stopped at the name of love, it is going to go bad. It's going to go worst. And as you move forward in your life, probably it might be more difficult, more challenging and more painful for you to come out. And definitely we don't want anyone landing up in a situation where the entire abuse goes so bad that now, you know, kids are in trouble, families in trouble, entire environment is chaotic and, you know, shit hits the roof. Don't wait for that situation to come. Be proactive and please remember abuse, any form of abuse is not love. Do not hide the abuse under the pretense of that person loves you. If that person truly loves you, then the person will do something about it, take help and make sure it's gone and both of you can live an alive and fearless life. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions, post it below the video. Make sure you share this video with anyone who is experiencing this form of abuse and they might have told you, you might have realized, you might have seen it uh, with your own eyes when you are with them. Share this video with them and if you need more training resources, head to mutsabadri.com. Thank you so much for watching. Stay alive, stay fearless, dream big, stay strong. I'll see you soon in the next video.